Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Friends, with the help of this beautiful simulation, I will explain you the concept of Boyle's Law. In this video, I will cover the basic definition of the Boyle's Law along with demonstrating this law with the help of simulation. I will also clear the concept behind this law. So I request you to watch this video till the end. According to Boyle's law, the pressure of a given mass of an ideal gas is inversely proportional to its volume at a constant temperature. It means pressure of the gas is inversely proportional to its volume if temperature and mass of the gas is kept constant. And here is number of moles of the gas. Okay. So let's see how pressure and volume are inversely proportional on keeping the temperature and amount of gas constant in case of ideal gas. So now with the help of this simulation, I will show you how the Boyle's law works. For this, uh, all I need uh, some uh, particles, some molecules. Let's inject some molecules into this container. Okay, I have uh, 79 particles and during this experiment uh, of Boyle's law as uh, the definition states that temperature should be constant these parameters I will click to hold anything constant so if I click on this temperature the temperature is constant okay I cannot vary this temperature now so temperature is constant and I will not change these number of molecules okay that I have already injected so these two parameters are constant now I will see how the pressure and volume are inversely proportional that is on increasing the volume the pressure should decrease and on decreasing the volume pressure should increase so let's see what happens so I am going to decrease the volume so it is inversely proportional to pressure so on decreasing volume pressure should increase pressure is 9.2 atmospheric pressure so let's decrease the volume and see the pressure there is rise in pressure from 9.2 it has become 16.1 so we have seen that Boyle's law is correct and it works and inverse if I say then uh, if I will increase the volume then pressure should decrease let's see on increasing the volume the pressure has decreased to 7.6 further increase the volume pressure will decrease to 6.9 atmospheric pressure this is the pressure gauge and uh, notice one thing here I have kept the temperature and the number of molecules okay number of moles of the gas constant in these conditions only the Boyle's law works but now understand the concept behind this why this happens actually you see what is pressure there is one uh, facility of a collision counter I can add this tool of uh, collisions actually what is pressure so before understanding the concept uh, let me first tell you what we mean by pressure by formula we know pressure is F by A pressure is force divided by area these molecules are colliding with the walls of the container so the force that they are applying on the inner walls of these uh, of this container per unit area is defined as the pressure okay so if the force is higher that is they are uh, striking with the walls with higher force okay the pressure will increase and also if i decrease the volume then they will get uh, effectively less area okay pressure is forced by area so on decreasing the area the pressure will be higher okay so it means if i change the volume if i decrease the volume then you can understand that on decreasing the volume pressure should rise because i am not increasing the energy of these molecules so pressure which is force divided by area so force is constant force is not varied if i would have increased the temperature then they would have gained more kinetic energy but i am keeping the temperature constant so force with which the energy with which they are striking with the walls of the container is constant so force is same but in this case on decreasing the volume area will reduce the per unit area on which they are uh, striking they are colliding has decreased so pressure would ultimately go up okay so on decreasing you say I am decreasing the volume and uh, pressure initially is 6.9 atmospheric pressure so it has increased to 16.8 atmospheric pressure okay 16.8 atm so this is the concept and reverse of this happens when I increase the volume on increasing the volume the pressure should 
degrees as it will get more area to strike so per unit area area has increased so the pressure will decrease other parameters I have kept constant I am not increasing the number of molecules so that collisions will increase or neither I am increasing the temperature so that the energy with which they are striking will increase so everything is constant so ultimately it is uh, purely depending on the area so on decreasing area pressure should increase and on the increasing area pressure should decrease this is Boyle's law friends you might be thinking that uh, I have not used this uh, wall collisions uh, tool so let me show you how it works as I told you that uh, pressure increases as number of collisions with the walls of the container are increased so this uh, this is a wall collisions counter so at this time if I want to see this is the pressure gauge it is telling me the pressure in uh, atmospheric pressure so it is 8.4 atm and in terms of uh, wall collisions if you see let's see how many collisions so it is telling me that there are 45 collisions in a sample period of 10 picosecond pico means 10 to the power minus 12 so in 10 picoseconds i am having 45 wall collisions with the walls of this container if i further uh, change the volume according to Boyle's law on decreasing the volume pressure should go up it means from 45 collisions you see temperature uh, you see the pressure has increased to 12.2 atmospheric pressure and also number of collisions with the walls should also increase you see here now there are 66 collisions if I further decrease the volume then number of collisions will go up from 66 to now there are 95 collisions in 10 picoseconds of sample period so ultimately the pressure has increased you can see it in terms of wall collisions and also from this pressure gauge so this is the concept of Boyle's law the reverse also you can see that is on increasing the volume the number of collisions should decrease you see from 95 it will go down it has uh, reduced to 51 only because of uh, having more area in interior area is more so number of collisions with the wall has decreased it is getting larger uh, area inside it so they in this uh, sample period of 10 picoseconds less frequent collisions are taking place and so pressure has decreased so in this way we can understand the Boyle's law that pressure is inversely proportional to volume or you can say volume is inversely proportional to pressure so i think you understood the concept of Boyle's law in the next video we will see another gas laws like uh, charles law gay lussac's law and uh, avogadro's law so if you like the video then please click on the like button and share this video with your friends Thank you for watching this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.